let us now try to write a piece of code that does the following sums the first 10 integers so what do i mean by that uh, 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 by sums i mean adds the first 10 integers what do i mean by that i say 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 these are the first 10 integers of course we can start from 1 and go up to 10 or start from 0 and go up to 9 for some reason i would like to start from 0 <laughs> that, that's my choice and go up to 9 so what is this equal to let me add 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 5 is 15 plus 16 is 21 plus 7 is 28 8 36 plus 9 is 45 um, i'm sorry if i'm wrong here <laughs> you can we can use a calculator and then check if we are right or not mostly i'm right let me write a program to see if i am right or wrong okay i manually tried adding these numbers he added up to 45 but is it really 45 okay so what do i do i say answer is equal to 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 and then i say print answer okay let's try executing this boom i get 45 as the answer as you can see here right perfect so uh, i'm right my addition skills are intact it's indeed 45 uh, what if i add the first 11 numbers add the first 11 integers code to add the first 11 integers what is this 45 plus 11 will be help me out 56 so let me just write plus 10 here and see if i execute it if i get 50 okay 45 plus 10 what am i doing there's a mistake here 10 is 55 correct okay perfect so now what if i were to add the first 12 numbers what will the answer be let me see the answer and then write it here 55 plus 12 that is 11 that is 66 right it should be 66 and it indeed is 66 okay as you would have rightly guessed there's a nice way to do the same program using for loop what we do is this very addition we capture it in the form of a for loop how do we do that let's go ahead comment this part just so that we have the previous code too and go ahead and write a brand new code okay so what i do is i say for i in range um, 10 okay so what i want is uh, i i want to add the first let us stick to the first nine numbers which, which we know was 45 first uh, 10 integers 0 to 9 is 10 integers the answer was 45 let me also change this just to stay um, consistent for i in range 10 i am going to sum answer equals answer plus i boom what is that that sounds confusing <laughs> so give me a minute let me explain what i have done what i have done is i first declare answer to be zero okay and then i say as i ranges from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 i add for my for my ants that is zero i add zero to it correct and then assign it to answer and then i cycle as you know for loop means it is cyclic right it's a loop and then answer will be equal to the previous answer plus i which will now be one okay so on and so forth let me try illustrating it here what it does is initially ans will be equal to zero and when i say ans equals ans plus i i will again be zero the final answer fine the the the, the 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 value of ans will be value is zero okay but then if i do ans equals ans plus i will next be one the value will be one because ans was zero ans equals ans plus one will make it one if you find it complicated don't worry this is one program that you may want to relook multiple times to get what is happening 
Then what is next? Next is ants equals ants plus 2. Ants is already 1, which means the value will become 1 plus 2, which is 3. So let me patiently do this throughout. And then the next, uh, in the for loop, the i becomes 3, which means ants equals ants plus 3. The value is, for 3, you, you add 3, which is 6. So on, let me just type without explaining. The value is 6 plus 4 is 10. Um, it's a good practice, good exercise to type it for the whole thing. The value will be 10 plus 4, 10 plus 5 rather, which is 15, right? And then so on and so forth. Answer plus 6. The value is 15 plus 6, which is 21. Answer is equal to answer plus 7. The value is 21 gets added up with 7, thus giving you 28. Answer equals answer. See, it's very tiring. The com your computer actually does all these things. <laughs> 28 plus 8 is 36. And then answer equals answer plus 9. The value is 36 plus 9, 45. And I'm indeed tired. <laughs> well, the computer does it in, in no time. Let's see if it actually does it in no time. Um, a, um, a, a word of, uh, a, a, rather a tip. Hash stands for comment. All these things are comments here, will not get executed. Anything inside these three codes will not get executed. I'm just reminding you people, of course, we have seen commenting before itself, right from our first week, but I'm just helping you recollect it. So what, what this code does is, these are all comments, it will just execute this part. What is it? Precisely what we have stated here. Okay, so let's see. At the end, I would like to print the answer is ants. So let's try our luck and execute this. The answer is 45. Bingo. So we got the right answer. Our code works fine. Fine. So now let me make a small modification to this. Let me say print enter a number as and always we have been doing this n equals int input which means it takes a number n and i'm going to input that here which means which means which means what you will see what this means if i put n equals 10 i will get 45 if i put n equals for well, let's say uh, 12 I'll get the sum of 12, first 12 numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 11. What is that? 66. And let me do something complicated. What if I put 100? Sum of first 100 numbers, 0, plus 1, plus 2, up to 99, is 4950, it seems. You may want to check that. <laughs> you can use the, there's a shortcut formula, as you know, sum of n numbers, whatever that is, you can look up and then write the formula. There's a very famous story of Gauss. Um, let me just type that for you. Uh, look at the story of Gauss, a mathematician. A mathematician used a formula to compute this. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let me not digress. Let me delete this. Okay, so you can look up the history. Uh, the answer is 4950. Let me find the answer for the first 10,000 numbers. In no time you get the answer. It's in the order of how much is this 50 million close to 50 million is the answer and that's the best part about computers you see you 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 did i was tired looping for the answer for the first nine numbers and the computer did precisely this not for just the first 10 numbers or the zero to nine numbers but for the first 10,000 numbers the answer is so much in fact you can even do for 1 million i'm sure it will not take a lot of time uh, let me um, play a safe bet here and put 1 million and see if this program will ah wow look at that that's like a less than a second's time it showed us the answer all right that's the power of for loops if you want to practice more and more of this very program try understanding what we have done here and i'm sure you'll be able to use for loop like a pro